Once plush green plumage laid dank and black, choked its last breath at the brink of swamp scum, now vined corpses for maggots and mites to rip and swallow down to belching bitter pulp. No jazz or dancing bees, no green leaf in sight. Yet I saw simple woodland. When the wind was right, the scent of wet bark would tap, tap at my window, creep through the cracks and hand me an envelope. You're invited. But they said the bird of death lived there, said it had ripped out the eyes of its mother and worn them as jewels around its ankles to impose one last glint of fear into the vole as it swooped and ripped it from the soil. They said I shouldn't play there, said I'd find myself in pieces, said I'd be listening to the world from the muffled underbelly of whichever maggot had taken my ears, said I'd be trapped in a restless crevice under some tree somewhere, said I'd be trapped, said I'd be trapped. But I still did. I did and did again. Didn't listen to their don'ts and found pellets and packets and bundles of bones. Each time I took them home. Fur and beaks and teeth and stories. Legs and tails and broken homes were all tied up inside. There, my father's pale skin my mother's coarse hair. I stretched them out across the floorboards, pinned and glued for curation. No longer was this a mass for something foreign. <laughs>